let's turn to the UK, which is battling multiple emergencies. Inflation has peaked to a 40-year high. The mercury, too, has touched a record 40 degrees Celsius. In the middle of all of this, they're looking for a new prime minister. Boris Johnson, remember, stepped down a couple of weeks ago. His party has to choose his successor. The race has boiled down to two candidates, Rishi Sunak and Liz Truss. We've been telling you about Rishi Sunak, the Indian origin leader, who is leading polls. And if he wins, he'd be the first Indian origin prime minister of Britain, the country that once colonized India. His adversary is Liz Truss, Britain's foreign secretary and a woman who could steal the march on Sunak. So what's her story? Will she win this contest? Our next report tells you what slash who Sunak is up against. Meet Liz Truss, the foreign secretary of Britain and the front runner for the prime minister's post. She's right behind Rishi Sunak in the race to 10 Downing Street. Because you've raised tax. In the fifth and final ballot on a Wednesday, Sunak bagged 137 votes. Trust secured 113. The five candidates who want to lead the Conservative Party and become Britain's next Prime Minister. Both are now officially the top two contenders. Over the next six weeks, they will battle it out in debates and rallies to claim Britain's top office. I'm Liz Truss. I want to unleash Britain's potential. If Truss wins, she would be the third woman prime minister of Britain, after Margaret Thatcher and Theresa May. So what are her chances? And what exactly is her story? Liz Truss was born in 1975 to Labour-supporting parents. She is the eldest of four children with three younger brothers. As a child, she was competitive with a penchant for public speaking. Do you, conference, believe that? Do you? She went to Oxford like many British politicians and remained a Liberal Democrat throughout university. But after graduation, she switched allegiance to the Conservative Party. What led to this shift? A visit to Eastern Europe in the 1990s, where she learned about the achievements of Margaret Thatcher, a leader she's often compared with. After university, Truss did odd jobs as an accountant and then decided to enter politics. After four failed attempts, she was finally elected as an MP in 2010. Two years later, she joined the David Cameron government as education minister. In the Theresa May government, she became the Secretary of State for Justice, the first woman ever to serve the post during her tenure. She became infamous for her flip-flop on Brexit. Initially, she supported the idea of remaining in the EU but later switched sides and became a firm Brexiteer. Post-Brexit, she was named Foreign Secretary in the Boris Johnson government. The second woman to ever assume the role, and a position she holds to this day. Liz Truss's political credentials are incredible. Her personal life is equally striking. <laughs> in 2006, it was found that Truss had an affair with Tory MP Mark Field. The minister's marriage broke down, but hers survived. In 2014, one of her speeches went viral, and not for the best of reasons. She was mocked for giving a bizarrely impassioned statement about cheese. We import two thirds of our cheese. That is a disgrace. Well, I think the whole country has. I'm asking about you. Well, in 2019, Truss found herself in a tight spot yet again. Have you, been affected? Have you been adversely affected? This time for failing to control her laughter on a question about the Tory policy of austerity. I would make sure we're not Despite the controversies, Truss emerged as a top contender for Britain's top post. What does she bring to the table? A plan to cut taxes, a promise to bring down energy bills, and a pledge to raise defence spending to 3% of the GDP. But to execute these promises, she will have to outperform Rishi Sunak. Last we checked, he was leading the race both in opinion polls and the ballot. Preventing companies from investing and it's taking money out of people's pockets. 
Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.